Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I am your host Sandman. Today I'm going to be reviewing Bare Bones Lock Picks. Let's get into it. I have had these picks for almost two months now. I put in a big order, maybe two or three months back, sometime around August or July. And then he says, you know, I have some more product coming out sometime closer to October time frame. And I said, well, that would actually be pretty cool because I would love to review your product closer to Halloween, given the theme of all of your lock picks being skeletons and bones and whatnot. And then as I got closer and closer to Halloween and I bought more and more of their product, the review got to be a little out of hand. I have all of their product, all of Bare Bones product just about. I have so much Bare Bones product that I can't do it all in one review. It would take hours. So this is gonna be more of a company spotlight where I talk about a few of the, um, uh, the awesome things that they are accomplishing over there. And I'm, I'm going to be reading a lot and I'm not gonna be really specifically talking about individual pick sets but I'm gonna be just mostly covering the company. I will be doing pick set uh, highlights or product features, I guess, you know, reviews in the future because I have way too much of their product to do inside of one video and y'all don't want a, a two hour long video. I don't want it, you don't want it. So let's go ahead and get into this. Welcome to Bare Bones Lock Picking. We manufacture and sell lock picking products for the enthusiasts and lock sport community. All our picks are made of 301 high yield stainless steel and are full tang through the handle. All our plastic products are made from DLP resin and covered in a protective coating to ensure long usability. Feel free to have a look around and we welcome any questions or inquiries through our email. I reached out to them via Instagram and I said, you know, could you give me any more information? Not realizing that they actually had a ton of information on the website, but he did give me some stuff that's not on the website. So we'll go ahead and read that. Sorry for the reply. Had just wrote a fairly good page of details, but freaking P PC locked up and lost it. I've just jotted the high level points down, but yeah, website gives the brief. For all of the reviews ever done on Bare Bones products, I've never put words in anyone's mouth and let them decide what it is and how you take the products. Bare Bones lock picking started late 2021, but wasn't really operational until January 2022. So approximately trading 20 months. The business uses the words, what is the bare essentials, AKA bare bones, in all decision making. So the theme of the bones and skeletons is used. So the whole reason we have a theme of skeletons and bones is not because these people are deep into macabre or, or, uh, or, um, uh, did I say that right? Macabre, macabre, whatever, or it's, they're not just goth, you know, gothic kids sitting around listening to a uh, typo negative. Instead, these guys have a really great um, method or system or uh, just a methodology on what they think uh, a lock sporter or lock picker or locksmith is really going to need. And then they just expound upon that in different sizes and different handle offerings and, and so forth. So it's more of like the accessories that really makes this, this company super huge. So uh, we go into a little bit more detail here talking about that. Who is Bare Bones Lock Picking? Bare Bones Lock Picking was created after my own personal journey into learning about lock picking and aims to identify many of the early pitfalls I personally made, and likely those that most pickers make, after buying that first cheap Amazon eBay kit. Yes, we have all bought one of those horrible kits in the beginning. Not you? Really? Well, you have dodged the joys of having a very poor early experience into the lock picking world. Yes, I too purchased one of those cheap crappy sets that bends permanently sideways on every use and had no idea what I was doing. After all, how hard can it be? Just shove the pick into a lock and wiggle it around like in the movies, right? So that raises the question. What would I go back and tell the early lock picking version of me at the beginning? What lock picks would I recommend? What's the right material? 
What's the best profile? What's the best thickness? Where do I start? And what's the best progression after that? Well, the future of lock picking version or the future lock picking version of me would have come back and firstly said, why do you have a set of 24 iron picks for car locks? And why are you trying to open a pen tumbler with a double sided wafer rake? In short, I believe new pickers are looking for the bare essentials required to really get started in lock picking. They're looking for the bare bones. I would encourage you like the previous lock picking version of me to look around this website and get learnings I and others have found. I promise the future lock picking version of you has already come back and pointed you in this direction. Throw a few minutes into educating yourself and become familiar with the sport. What have you got to lose? Maybe some time reading and learning the crash course into lock picking. I agree. Okay, what the bare bones approach, or what's the bare bones approach? After years of lock picking, I have accumulated many lock picking sets from various companies, but found I was only really using a few selected picks out of any particular set. Yes, it's cool to have every possible profile at your fingertips. I'm guilty of that. But does it make you a better picker? Does it make choosing which pick to use any easier? For me, I was always grabbing the same few classic profile picks because they just seemed to work consistently. I found that by becoming proficient and just using a few of these classic picks, it simplified my whole approach to attacking a lock. I just started with my short hook and moved through the lock, trying to find the next binding pin. If I came across a shallow pin hiding behind a deep pin, I would move to my medium hook. In some cases, an even deeper postal or deforest half diamond, or excuse me, deforest diamond might be needed. If I was raking, I would start with snake rake and see how the profile went. If nothing, then move into the double and triple peaks. If still nothing, then try the city rake to complete all the likely profiles and combinations. The rest of the picks pretty much sat unused in the kit. But hey, they did make my pick selection look really impressive. Don't get me wrong, there was nothing wrong with any of the other picks that I barely touched. They all had cool names after Greek gods or mythical creatures, but ultimately were just a der derivative of one of the picks that I was regularly using. I would try them initially, but still found myself going back to the faithfuls that gave me the best results. Okay, so which are the profile you prefer as the classics? The short hook, always the first choice to start when single pin picking, most used pick of all. The medium hook, handy for shallow pins, hiding behind a deep cut pin. Half diamond, universal rake, useful SPP, and even open dimple locks by SPP. DeForest diamond, universal rake, deepest long reach hook. We're almost done, folks. Snake rake, single large Rake profile, good first choice. Double peak, twice the profile of the snake. Rake at a similar length. Triple peak, triple profile at twice the length of a snake or double peak. And city rake, multiple close prof it's a multiple close profile at a similar length to triple peak. That's it. Eight classic profiles that every decent lock picking manufacturer will offer. And the full range of bare bones currently offers happy picking. Crash course. All right, we're almost done. There are many different types of locks, however, the most common fall into one of the below categories. First, pin tumbler locks typically have a vertical keyway and the telltale sawtooth key profile. They are very common in doors and padlocks. Two, dimple locks typically have a horizontal keyway with the rectangular key. The key will have small divots or dimples on the widest face, which explains the name. They are most common in European countries, but can be found in doors and padlocks. Three, disc container locks typically have a large horizontal keyway. The key is a thick rectangular shape with notches cut out on the edges. They are most common in automotive chain locks, but also found in many padlocks. Commercial quality lock picks are made from 301 stainless steel due to the thin profile required at maximum strength. They are designed to handle many uses while not permanently being bent after use. Low quality lock picks use various metal combinations but commonly have a high percentage of iron due to the cheaper cost. 
If the material used in any lockpick set isn't clearly stated, then check with the supplier. If the material isn't at least 301 stainless steel, then expect to have a poor lock picking experience. The most common thicknesses available are 25 thousandths, referred to as 25 thou, suitable for large open keyways like Lockwood C4, 23 thousandths, referred to as 23 thou, most suitably for large open keyways like Lockwood C4 and medium keyways, best all around thickness to prevent needing both 25 and 20 thou sizing for each profile. And we have the 20 thou or 20 thousandths, less suitable for large open keyways like Lockwood C4 and aimed at the medium keyways and 15 thou. Often referred to as 15 thou, unsuitable for, excuse me, 15 thousandths, often referred to 15 thou, unsuitable for large open keyways like C4, perfect for narrow and medium uh, keyways from European like Avis. Tension tools are used to tension the lock while picking and are commonly divided into groups. Bottom of keyway and top of keyway tension, talks about rakes, talks about hooks. We don't need to go into all of that. You guys are smarter than me about all of this, but I really like that they give you a crash course on what you should learn when going to this. Also, one of my favorite sets in here is the gym bone hooks. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. I'm going to do a full review of these, so maybe I won't talk about everything, but... Thanks for checking out the Jim Bone Hooks, one of the newest ranges from Bare Bones Lock Picking. These five hooks are all res result from collaboration between Bare Bones Lock Picking and the Australian Pickers Discord. Bare Bones Lock Picking is extremely grateful for the experience and knowledge shared by the Australian Pickers Discord that made these five profiles possible. So they talk about the opal, the sapphire, the emerald, the jade, and the diamond. I really like that for all of their gym hooks. I am a gym hook fan, and I primarily use a Peterson gym hook, which is similar to this diamond right there. And they have further variances of it. So they have the jade and the emerald and the sapphire and the opal. I'm gonna do a full review of this, these picks specifically, because they are so good and I love them so much. They are probably gonna replace all of my Peterson picks. So let's just talk about the picks and my impressions. Let's just talk about some of the product and whole. And I did find one small, very, very, very small fatal flaw in the product selection. Everything else gets a grade A tier one review from me. So let's first, let's, how do we go about this? Let's, let's talk about this. So first off, the conversion rate to, from USD or Euro to Australian, these guys are getting just slammed. They, the, you, every, I bought everything on their website for about $300 USD. It's funny because it came out to be, you know, some Australian dollar and then like, you know, 200 Australian dollars was really like, I don't know, maybe like, uh, oh man, what was it? Like 125 or 150 USD. So whenever I was racking up my, my shopping cart, I was like, oh man, I can't afford this. I can't do this. And then I went to the conversion. And I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, really? The conversion rate is ridiculous. It's like, it's like 150% off difference. I don't know how to do the conversion in my head, but there's going to be picks for everybody. The only thing you have to worry about is shipping. And I don't remember the shipping being that bad. I don't remember if it was 10 or 20 bucks. It's not a big deal, but they're going to have picks for little Timmy, Timothy, Tim, and big Tim. If you buy everything on their website, you could probably get everything, almost all of their product for about two to $300 USD. It's going to look crazy astronomically high in Australian dollars, as I said before, but don't be determined, you know, deterred by that. The pick steel is 301 high yield stainless steel, which is 280. 80,000 pounds a square inch of ultimate tensile strength, which is the strongest pick steel that you are going to find on the market today in 2023. There are only about five lock pick steels. There's probably about maybe seven, but there's really only five major, major pick steels that we're going to see among 30 or 40 different manufacturers across the entire globe. And the 301 high yield is the strongest available on the market that is making this a tier one lock pick set it is tier one it is best of the best high quality high functionality and there is a ton of transparency in their website the only other companies that i see with this much transparency in the tier one pick class is going to be law lock tools and jimmy longs i mean the amount of transparency that these guys have is super awesome. I absolutely love it, and I love these tools. There's not really much else to cover here. We do have custom handles, and we talked about that. They are not 3D printed.
protected, but they are some type of a special plastic that they have that, that lasts a long time. Uh, these do look polished. They, uh, I'm guessing centrifugal tumbled. There is quite a bit of variety. He says eight different profiles. I'm going to actually say that they have more since they put out because there's a couple in here that he calls like the, the I don't know, the <laughs> it's just so many weird names of these picks that I don't remember them. We're going to cover them individually in future videos, but he has a great qual uh, variety and the quality control is wonderful. There is only one fatal flaw in all of the products that I have purchased and we are going to talk about that, but the quality control is excellent and I love their tools. I absolutely do love their tools. Let's go ahead and talk about the one fatal flaw so I can actually review some more product. So the fatal flaw that I have is the pick case by itself. It's a vinyl pick case and there is so much ink in the pick case that the ink is starting to make a chemical reaction with the handles of the lock picks. It's starting to off gas. So either the handles are off gassing or the, uh, the, the vinyl, uh, uh, this this ink that's on the vinyl is off gassing and when I put my picks in here for just one month um, I am having trouble removing my lock picks from the case and that is a problem so but it, it's not a slight against their picks their picks are tier one they're the best and some of the best in the world that you're ever going to find or buy and they're made by legitimate great lock pickers but the case they I would recommend that they highly reevaluate the case um, so this case is made of vinyl. I was able to remove this one earlier, but to see, but so here's a pick in here and I cannot. So I was able to get that out and it's not because these are tight. It's because there's off gassing between the vinyl and the plastic handle. So I can get that out. Got that. This guy's really stuck in there. There we go. And you can see where the vinyl is off gassing against the plastic handles. You'll get these little shiny spots on here like this guy right here. I don't know if you can see that, but you get you get um, you it, it is going to have an effect on your plastic handles there just a little bit if you're not careful. And you can see where I've had plastic handle um, here sticking to the vinyl itself. So um, I love everything that these guys are making, but I am having trouble with the vinyl case. All of my videos need to highlight the pros and cons of any lockpick set. And I absolutely love these guys' lockpicks, but I would like to recommend to my viewers and to them to uh, consider a different um, version of a pick case. And you know what? Actually, they already have started going that route. They have started offering this particular pick case here. It's like a soft shell. I don't know. Actually, this would be considered a hard shell uh, lock pick case. Let me get into this thing. And, uh, you know, it's just a laser engraving of bare bones Australian pickers. And these guys really hooked me up with some really neat decals here and stickers. Bone mite. I really love all the themes. Bare bones, lock picking, sandman, picks with bare bones. And it's true. I really do. I'm really going to start spending more time picking with bare bones. I want to get rid of my Peterson picks. These picks are going to be better and stronger than my Peterson picks. So sandman, pick with the bone. That's right. Uh, I, Sandman, that's so cool that they did this for me. I don't know if they're going to do this for everybody. I don't know. They, I paid for all of this product. This is not a paid review. I never get anything for free, but these guys really hooked me up with the swag. Thank you so much, guys. I love all of your products. Um, I'm going to stop. I'm going, I'm going to not going to be using the vinyl uh, case moving forward, but I am glad that I have it as a part of my collection. I think it's a wonderful uh, thing to have as part of my collection, even though I won't be using it because I'm just that kind of guy. So, but I have so many of their picks that I'm going to be reviewing for y'all over the coming weeks and coming months. And again, this is a tier one company. These are tier one lock picks, best of the best, top 10. These are probably in my top five easily, easily top five. Oh man, I want to throw them in my top three, if not top two. I love these picks. They come with all different types of handles. So these are the picks as they come, you know, just the bare essential, just the, the 301 steel. This is called the Butcher's by lock um, The Butcher's B-Lock. Is that what that says? The Butcher's 
block. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. It doesn't say the butcher's buy lock. It says the butcher's block. So anyways, I'm going to be doing a review of all these individually, but I'm going to have some of these in handles. I wanted to show you these, what they look like before you put them into a handle. I'm just super excited to get into this. Uh, they do offer some of these, uh, these handles for multi-pick dimple. And the back, my phone just died. I apologize, but the show must go on. So I was talking about how I can take a multi-pick dimple uh, um, lock pick and I can put it inside their custom handles and have a very unique picking experience. This is really great for people with large hands like me. I'm six feet, two inches tall, and I have extra large size hands. So something like this really is in my, um, it's really up my alley. And I also like that this could be for people that have hand disabilities. There are people that have nerve damage in their hands. There's people that have uh, some type of uh, uh, brain damage where they're not able to control the dexterity in their hands. I think this is a wonderful option if you are still a fan of lock sport and you wanna get into dimple picks, but you have been intimidated by some of these smaller handles. This is a wonderful option. And multi-pick makes the best picks in my my opinion but um and so it's great that they recognize multi-pick and they're making handles for that however i do believe that they have their own dimple picks and i just haven't made that investment yet but i will in the coming months forgive me i don't remember what this is for but this thing is off so i think it's just for a standard uh pick let's give that a try and it's probably for something like yeah yeah this is just for a, a, a standard pick i suspect so this is pretty cool i'm guessing that that's what that is there's they have so many unique products that I, I i really need to be more familiar with each individual product going forward as i do individual roof reviews because i bought so much stuff guys um all of their turning tools are very high quality they, they appear to be of the same 301 steel um, so no com uh, complaints there. I'm going to be reviewing all of their turning tools individually as well. And they have some really great inventions from people in their community. I think these are grade A high quality tier one turning tools. So, and then they also offer these um, Australian like uh, exotic wood handles for your law lock tools. And that's what's so cool is they seem to have an ecosystem between law lock tools and the bare bones, they, I mean, I even bought this like this key uh, fob. I was like, ah, this is just like the covert companion thing. So, you know, I don't know, I could put keys on it or I could put the covert companion tools on it. Ah, you know what I may do? Instead of buying a covert companion uh, handle, I may just uh, add my uh, my riv pick in here and the turning tool. So I may do that. Uh, they gave me some little pieces uh, to, to do that with. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I bought this uh, disassembly tool here don't even know how to use it, but I bought it because it has bare bones written on it. And I just love all of their products. I support everything that they do. Absolutely love it. Everything in here is tier one high quality. I'm going to be doing more reviews of their individual products and moving forward into the future. So I'm sorry. I hope this video doesn't feel rushed or seem rushed. I hope I didn't give out too much information. What happened is this. I failed bare bones. I was like, man, I'm gonna buy all your product and I'm gonna review it all. And then I got all their product in and realized I have too much to review. So <laughs> and I'm just, I just, it's, they have so much great product. I bought it all and I, I'm just going to have to uh, just, just like <laughs> slow down and, and do a review on their picks because like just this set alone, I wanna talk about this set. This set is cool. So there's so much like just this turning tool right here. I'm going to be talking about this. Just this is just deserves its own video. So these guys make such great product. I can't wait to see what they come out with in the future. I hope they get uh, this uh, the 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 pick uh, case uh, figured out. But until then, I do have this very great quality pick case. I think it's a great idea. Um, this is going to absolutely work and fit my needs, no problem. So that's it. That's all I had to say. I know a lot of people that really love uh, these types of picks. Uh, I just, I think people, not only do, will they appreciate the profiles in the 301 high yield steel, I think there's a lot of people that appreciate the style and the, uh, the, the gothic look and the theme to all of this. I know, I know people that absolutely love that in their lock sport um, tools and equipment and toys. And I think they're really, really going to dig uh, the bare bones stuff. So 
um, you know, stay tuned for future reviews. They're all going to be super positive. I guarantee it because I love this company. And man, I can't wait to add more to my collection. That's all I really have today, folks. I'm just kind of repeating myself at this point because it's such good stuff. Um, if you are, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe and I will see you in your dreams. Does that sound creepy? Still working on my catchphrase, folks. I will talk to you later. Catch you guys next time. Mrs.